leave here today, if you can, go and work and play and pray in a garden. Dirt, rain, sunshine, and seeds, Pritchard said. It doesn't get any more basic than that. <coughs>
not remember starting recycling because the older one was in a cuddle seat. Mm -hmm. It's, um, it's something that hopefully many of our younger generation have grown up with some things that are now just habits that we learn. Well, our financial gifts are important, and I would never discount those. But so are the gifts of our actions and intentions. So in making our offering this morning, we also recommit ourselves to following on the way of Jesus our shepherd and to care for this pale blue dot on which we make our home. And so we make our offering in the name of the risen Christ. <laughs> As relentless as the rising sun, may we, steadfast God, pray relentlessly until the violence, war, and bloodshed in Gaza ends. Give us the fortitude to pray without ceasing until the safety, well-being, and dignity of all people is cherished and held as sacred, <coughs> and until elected officials and those in positions of power safeguard the most vulnerable and protect their human rights. Give us the courage to pray boldly with our hearts, our words, our actions, and our resources until all people in Palestine and Israel can enjoy freedom, justice, and peace in abundance. May it be so. Amen. Amen. And now as we continue in prayer, we center ourselves in a moment of gratitude, confession, and petition. Creating God, we are awed and grateful for your world, for light and darkness, for air, wind and sky, for earth and sea, for seeds, harvests and plant life, for sunlight, moonlight and starlight, for every living creature, swarming, flying, creeping and grazing. Creating God, we know that much of your creation struggles and as we see and acknowledge the changes around us, we are searching for collaborative ways we can commit to care for creation. Help us to listen and to learn, to discern wise ones to shepherd us, and to listen to the voices of your creation itself. Help us to love what you have loved and called good. Forgiving God, we confess that at times we have taken too much or cared too little, that our hearts have been unwilling to listen or change or our wills have been weak. 
but may the knowledge that you are with us, that you shepherd us, that we are loved, forgiven, and free, shape our time and our heart to follow and to do differently from this day. Faithful God, we pray for Mother Earth and for places experiencing famine, drought, flood, earthquake, storms, and for all those affected by the pain, hardship, violence, and anger that results. We hardly know how to help, <coughs> so fill our hearts with compassion, our minds with wisdom, our hands with willingness to do what we can, and spirits to pray without ceasing. Healing God, we know there are those who can only see the moment they are in because of pain, fear, depression, addiction, mental or physical illness or life circumstances. We pray that you surround them with your love and breathe into them a spirit of peace and an assurance that they do not walk this path alone. God of change, transform us into your likeness that we may transform this world step by step. Generous God, there are so many other prayers on our hearts and we know that you make space for them all. Where we have no words, may your breath fill the space. Where we have forgotten to pray, pray through us. And as we return to the day that is before us, give us the courage, heart and will to go forward <coughs> As you receive the prayers of all creation, receive these our prayers, which we gather together with the prayer of Jesus, our good shepherd, left for us. Be 
assured that the resurrected Jesus still walks beside you, shepherds and leads you, and feel the spirit of truth and peace and hope breathing in you. Thank you.